Taylor, you have a great question on about using this molar conversions chart uh, when we do molarity. Yes, this chart is super important um, and because we need to be able to convert between grams and moles. So looking at your chart, I'm only going to worry about the left half where we go from grams to moles. And we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So here's an example problem. It says, what is the molarity of 28 grams of NaOH, so I've got 28 grams of NaOH dissolved in three liters of water? So according to uh, molarity, the, the formula for molarity is molarity is equal to moles over liters. Now, if we look at this problem, we only really have a little bit of it. We don't have moles. Nowhere up here does it say we have moles. Um, that's where this comes in, which we'll get to in a minute. But we do have liters. So I'm going to go ahead and put my three liters at the bottom. So how do we get moles? How do we find moles? Well, that's where your chart comes in. The chart is to get us between grams and moles. Whenever you see grams of a substance and we know what that substance is, then we can convert that to moles or vice versa. If we know the moles, we can convert it back to grams. And that's where this chart comes in. Specifically in this chart, we're starting in grams and we're going to follow this path right here to get to moles. And so this is what we need in order to do that. That's the formula we're going to use in order to do that. Notice, notice here it says it's going to start in blank grams. That's the grams we start with. So I'm going to start with 28 grams of NaOH. And then you're going to multiply it by this part right here. So I'm going to multiply it by another little fraction. It says one mole, one mole. And then it says over mm with the grams, right? So that's grams. So what is mm? This mm right there actually stands for the molar mass. So that's the molar mass. And we find the molar mass on the periodic table. And so we would have to have a periodic table. Hopefully you have your periodic table in front of you. But the molar mass is the molar mass of our substance. Now our substance is sodium hydroxide. So on the periodic table, I got to look for those items. There's one sodium, one oxygen, and one hydrogen. If there were subscripts, I might need to add more, but luckily there's only one of each. So there's one sodium. Sodium on the periodic table, is 22.99 grams for every mole. Oxygen, oxygen is 16.00 grams for every mole. And hydrogen, hydrogen is 1.01 grams per mole. So if I take all those and add them all together, I'm gonna get that molar mass down there. And that molar mass, if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now, is 40, point zero grams for every one mole. So that's where this chart comes in. We just converted grams of sodium hydroxide to moles of sodium hydroxide. Oh, no, we're doing that right now. We're converting grams to moles. So we have grams and we want to convert it to moles. So if I go ahead and finish this up, if I finish this equation up, I'm going to move this arrow. This will let me finish grams of sodium hydroxide to moles. So 28 times one is 28 divided by 40 is 0 0.7 moles. Okay, so that's what this is. Took my 28 grams and I times it by one mole over the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. And now I figured out how many moles there are. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that up there in my molarity equation, zero, 0.7 and I'm going to get my ultimate answer. So let's change my color to be red. My ultimate answer, the molarity is equal to 0 0.7 divided by 3 is 0 0.23 molar. Okay, so this is just an example problem, but that's where we use this chart. If you're ever given grams and you need moles, that's what this chart is used for. Or if you're ever finding moles and you need to figure out how many grams that is, you can always go the other way in order to do that. But I hope that was helpful. Good luck.